Hello, welcome to Anthony's TV. My name is Jet Tesbury. He's the Maltese Falcon. And this is, with a lot of spin on it, ah, the J6 from Roland. Let's open the box and see what it does. <laughs> Opening the box on the J6, yeah. Chord sequencer. Still think it's a bit mad that it's the Iro range, because I was around back in the day when that came out. But we've enjoyed the other ones, haven't we, Falcon? We've done the 808 style one and the vocal one. This, as I understand it, is pumping out some harmony chords, chord sequencer. Right, what we're gonna do is I'll read you through the specs and then we're gonna hook it up to demonstrate this thing. The J6 Chord Synthesizer is an endless well of musical inspiration. Pairing a powerful chord sequencer with the lavish tones of the renowned Juno 60 synth, generate soul-stirring song ideas in seconds and experiment with styles and variations to coax dancing lines and rhythmic patterns from your chords. Add lush effects to frost your sound and expand your possibilities by interfacing with other Ira compacts, MIDI hardware and music production software. Seems like they've hired a poet at Roland as <laughs> well. Plugged in the audio, got the top-down camera, zoomed in on here and I hit a key and this is what happened. On. Hopefully that gives you an idea. To me, and I'll shout out Ave McCree. Go watch Ave McCree's video on this. I love his videos. And that's the one I got. There's a great video as well on Sonic State of the nuts and bolts of this thing. But I'm gonna be coming at it from a guy that's not reading the manual and seen a few videos. <laughs> and I, it's, Bowling with the bumpers up. I use this analogy a lot of the time. It's generating all of that music for me and I cannot fail. Right, so you've just got to make the decisions on what buttons you press because it is holding us into a scale it's locking us into a tempo and it's generating all those notes. It's even generating the sound, which I, rem it, it's remarkable, really. Yeah. I can see why people are, this is the, the best reaction I've had out of any of these boxes. And I was excited because after watching Abe McCree's video, let me explain it. This has a USB-C MIDI output on the back. So you, it, we could hook this up and he shows it in his video. I didn't want to repeat it. He hooks it up to various DAWs. And if you're the type of person that wants to get into making music, maybe you use a lot of loops, or um, you have to set things to scale modes and things like that, I think Roland have really made something very unique here in putting all of that harmony generating, note generating style of product into an affordable box, but with this idea of styles instead of Dorian, Mixolydian, Lydian, which I've seen a lot of the software companies like Scalar, I think they're called, or you'll often see, if you're into watching beat making videos, you'll always be sold something about, just drag in this into Fruity Loops, drag this in. And in A's video, he uses this box as essential, essentially a hardware generator for all his harmony. So he programs the beat. So let's see if we could do that, right? So let's imagine we've got a beat going. I'm at one, four, five here, and I wanna find a bass sound first. So I'm gonna have a look around. Let's see if we can do it. Sound, that's sound one, sound two. Oh no, that's sound one, 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 two. An envelope there. We've got an octave, shift, octave, sick. Okay, off in the woods. Let's hear the filter. Let's 
make it shorter. Let's change the sound. Let's go one, three. Perfect. Right, this is all the stuff that I hope to play when I do a demo. That second chord, which I'm pretty sure is the C over E. I don't know what key we're in. Can we tell it what key to be in? I'm sure, yeah, key, shift, key, shift, key. And change that, that's cool. Let's keep rolling with it, because it's exciting. Let's hear some other sounds. Let's hear that reverb. Now, already I'm thinking, I've heard that I want to hear a different style. And this is the genius of this product. Instead of just tempo, scale, it's style, but not in a naff kind of rumba style. It doesn't tell me what the styles are, but let's flick through it. Here's the second style. So dope. Let's do a different style. And let's change the sound. Let's go random seven. fail. Notice I haven't failed yet. Normally, if you've seen my videos before, you'll see a lot of failure. There's no failure going on here. So they programmed in, because that's often the hard bit, right? I can tell people the notes. Bless uh, my dear old Jeffrey. Jeffrey, my mum's uh, husband, and his son, Craig, they have the best ears. They're always sending me the best music. And I can tell this desire to get into music. And they, I think they watch some of the videos very kindly that I do. And they often go, oh, that looks a bit, a good bit of gear. And whenever, even when I've taken bits of gear back, actually Jeff bought the Oasis. Remember I did the video on the Oasis? Yeah. Jeff bought the Oasis. And it sits there and with the hope that the Karma engine and those, uh, on the chord products, you know where it kind of goes along with you if you press a key, but you still have to know what a minor chord is. Yeah. And then you kind of have to know a little bit of rhythm, because you go, whereas with this, I think you can sit there, and Ave demonstrates it brilliantly in this video, you just sit there, record it in to what you're doing, and piece together the bits. And as long as you're in that same tempo and changing the styles, you'll be able to make music. But, you know, not loop-based, this could trigger anything via MIDI. And it's even got the sync in and out there that I'm sure would work with uh, modular gubbins, probably. I don't know, let me know. Let's go uh, sound. Let's try this eight sound. And we got freaking variations. Let's go back to this first sound. That's a great sound. This is just on star one. Let's listen to him. This one. Two. Three. Four. I mean, let's just go absolute blind roll. You 
can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. And my vision, uh, again, apicry on the, <laughs> imagine you get that going, you pick the tempo, then you just got to match some drums to it. And that's where things like splice and uh, other, maybe other groove boxes you got um, that you can hook this up to. And again, duh, the environment, you can see when you pair this with their drum machine and their vocal thing, that you've got a real little ecosystem. Bigging up Rachel Collier, she shows that she's in this beautiful bluebell wood doing an amazing performance on these three. I can see why. Hang on, genre. Oh. Oh. Genre Claude Van Damme, no. Shift, genre. And then I've got two things here. Oh, I'm trying without the manual here. Okay, genre. When I looked at genre, I then was like, mm, chord. So this was exciting. I realized that I wasn't even thinking really about the different modes that are here. I saw the chord button and the on. So check this out. This is what synth sound number one. You can play it like a normal keyboard. Plug in some MIDI, play that, right? Uh, when I hit chord, that's where we get that, whoa, it's generating all the harmony for me thing. And then when I want to get it arpeggiated, they actually, because I've dug out the manual, it shows you all the diff, it tells you what all the variations are. I kind of like just flicking through and hearing them, but there's arpeggio style ones and beat style ones as well. So let's have a li little listen when we turn this on again. Really out there stuff, stuff that I would never sequence and I probably would never play as well because I just go around the same old stuff. So I dig that. Now check this out with genre. Let's turn off the arpeggiate and just hear the chords. Turns out that's pop and it shows you all the genres here. So let's go to number three. So I go shift, genre, three, check these out. Much fruitier voicings, and this is the magic, right? It's not saying meets an Indian uh, Neapolitan scale, none of that stuff. Genre based. So, people like Jeff, like Craig, and you out there, if you just want to say, do what genre does the stat Falcon like? Well, let's go, let's hear some pop synth 27. Let's get the arpeggiator going. And let's get a star down here. Now all you've got to do is remember the order you liked. So if you, again, I, I find this a little bit, I have to let go of knowing what I want to happen, but then ooh, get over myself. It's not like I'm limit, limitless ideas. I do the same sh every time. So with this, it's such a cool way to refresh it. Cinematic. So that's 33. So now we should be locked in there. Let's find a different sound. I'll just go for the second one. And turn the arpeggiator off and hear the chords get a long release on it. Different sound. <laughs> Synthwave 34. Shift, genre, 34. And don't have a go at me. I'm, you're seeing me do it first take, right? Let's change the octave, shift, octave.
again, if I want to find and not trust my own rhythm style, let's go. Crank the tempo. You're getting the idea, right? You can just sit there, noodle, not freak out, and twist it to your heart's content till you get a nice, and if you like that, it's got a sequence of builds in it, so you could save it. Nice. Jam the order and not worry about having to remember those things. But this is the first, I've seen another product called the Noodler that was out, uh, and I was thinking about buying that as a present. Because it's something so, I want people to enjoy since I want people to enjoy, and that's the making music. And when I do my lessons about playing in C, that's my idea, which is if we kind of get everyone comfortable with the white notes and learning that you can't make mistakes there. But again, that's very limited. But just in C, you still got to try to teach people rhythm, arpeggiation. That takes a lot of time. You can buy this box, bypass all of that. And not only that, just have a great sounding little synth with some good sounding presets. No faff with the right stuff. Nice one, Roland. I hope that gave you an idea of what it's like getting out of the box. Uh, thanks, Falcon. Thanks, everyone who puts the comments in and uh, really appreciate it. I hope that it was worth watching this video. If it wasn't, let us know. We can learn from the hate. And I'll see you soon.